Hello and welcome to today's racing action here at the Silverstone International here for qualifying here we go here and as we look at the rest who are in uh, this session here today we have quite a few who are looking to get up the orders today hello I am Caswell5 uh, today cut of her place and um, with me in the hot seat on Monday will be uh, Dahara or Dara uh, but today I'm uh, here alone not on this channel I mean but uh, I mean on my normal channel I'll be on my I won't be on my channel I'll be on the Gather League as we look at your leader now for this Mitchell Mitchell here looking great as always he is Here today, he looks good today. Uh, these guys do, and these guys all look to be a pretty good people today. They do. As uh, we're about to get racing here today, have hope you had a good day today because it is uh, seven ish night, quite late. Hope you had a good day. Now, I guess uh, just to say, as we got our new leader, now we have, which is Daniel Plez. Uh, here we have as a the cars have all crossed the line here they have how quick is the question somebody asked earlier do they go around the track So we've got two more comments just popped in here we have saying uh oh how quickly do they go well i i, I did hit it a minute ago so i will uh tell you about that and uh somebody asked a minute ago and somebody asked well, what is the best time do you think the best time i think will be a one minute 32 33 so there's a few who have decided to pocket back into the pits now they have fourth and third are in so fourth now she's going to come on back onto track so is third now there's still another one in the pits here coming out the pits there is it's 12th here and there's no real cars battling really there isn't here first in this session is in a big gaggle of cars which is making their way down the back straight here it is i think it's the hangar straight is this i don't know what straight it is but anyway coming down one of the straights Look at them all, look at them all. There he is, just going blurty past the screen now. It's going to go, he's in the white car, so the back of that pack the leader is. I hate to be sick right now. He's got two cars behind him, trying to battle past him, but I don't think he will. Just to say, guys, if you're wondering who and why I am doing this video tonight, it's because I'm my friends in this. I know I, I know you say, oh, Cadwell, you don't have friends. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I do. Uh, he's in here somewhere. Yeah, it's Daniels. Daniel is my friend, guys. He used to be uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, well, he is still a good friend of mine. Uh, he used to be. I, 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 I used to be like really good friends with him. Now I'm just friends. We're not good friends. We're just friends. Don't see him much anymore. So yeah, it's really the truth. As across the line now comes your fourth position. Slower lap time there it is, but let's just check how quick it actually goes. The quickest he goes on this track, let's have a look. We could check in a second or on the time screen. We will. On the trap time, oh, he goes and proves in sector one. 
Let's just check how quick it goes down this back straight. Probably be quick it will. Manages 109 miles an hour, so they're not that quick really. There's loads are in the pits here, there are loads are coming in now, they are to do a quick mandatory pit stop here with 5 minutes and 50 seconds uh, to go. Out the last corner now, comes seventh. What lap time is he going to get here as he crosses the line? Now he manages to get seven still, but with one minute thirty four point seven three six. That is nothing to be ashamed of. As he comes out with the car straight in. But he does here. Daniel, the leader, still is putting his time in here. Powell's well, it's not really Dan Powell's, it's Dan Powell. He just powers on this game, he did because he can. And uh, yeah, he's loving to see He is a, an, IA, an, an AI bot as well in this game. He got an AI bot as well. Lovely guy, Daniel Pledd is my friend, and an AI bot on the game. Joker is not an AI bot, he's my friend, but yeah. As there's a few now who are making their way into the pits there are. With 5 minutes and 34 seconds to go, thir sorry, 24 seconds to go. It doesn't seem like a bad idea really for me to come out and have a quick lap for you. Show you how I would do a lap around the circuit for you. Give you a good insight to how I would do the circuit. mind you here how quick I would go really it wouldn't so let's have a quick go out then I will come out for one lap and one lap only guys here go, go, go. pretty much all I think I have left of this session if I if I if I do have more then uh, yeah uh, I will tell you but please subscribe to the official government league there's no link in the description but they are where I am nowadays on a Monday night and a Friday night Let's have a look at the lap time then we will get as we break it to breaking zone. Here we go then, on to the lap we go, and it is going to be... We are... Go, go, go!
Now nah, we're not going to do a lap then, guys. So I thought I was, but we're not. As uh, we're, oh, as uh, we're not going to look at the others because we've got two minutes and four seconds to go here. Let's look at the others and see if the lead is still going to stay the same or not. As Daniel here makes his way across the line. For the rain part of the lap, that's still quick it is. A 34 is uh, fourth. David. Well, I like David actually, so yeah, David's good where he is. As uh, the web, as we have one minute and four and 25 seconds to go. One minute 25 to go, and everyone here will get what happened now. They will, and then that's it. So everyone now who's crossed, everyone's crossed the line, so they'll all get this last lap in now, they will, as the greens. So yeah, so they're making their way out and around now they are. Let's just check what time we've got left. 29 seconds of some more getting double lap in here they will. They'll get another lap in here they will. So down to line come loads. The boards are out saying 30 seconds here, so Checkers are now out, checkers are out now, and checkers are now coming down, here they are, so here the checkers are out. Now, so, for the order it is, Dan Powell's, Powell's, from Basian Martirio, from third, uh, Andy, sixth, fourth, Chef Rob, Chef Ab, fifth, Matu, Matheus, Matheus, Marius, Mario, sorry, sixth, Mitch, uh, Mitch L, S 7th David, 8th Glenn, 9th Nigel and 10th Emilio, Emilio. So let's go right into the race and hopefully we can do well here. No, sorry, we have a warm up session of 5 minutes here. Will anyone decide to come out here or will everyone whisk it and stay in the pits for the whole warm up session today? Is Dave, is, yes he is, he's out. Loads are out for the five minute session. I'm surprised that everyone's coming out for five minutes. I'm going to come out here and show you a lap go, go, go. in my perspective just because I haven't done that yet.
I'm gonna have to come back in the pits, guys. That's my lap. Who's going to get another lap in here as they make their way down now? So it's still Daniel in the lead here. From Schraff. Sh uh, from Bastion. Bastion. From Bastion here, who's crossing the line now, is with the checkers with the one minute board out now. With the one minute board out. It's just to say they've got one minute 30 left, so the minute board's out. Nearly. But uh, yeah, it's sad. <laughs> So by the way down here they do with 44 seconds to go, the minute board is now out. Oh yeah, guys. Just to say if you if if you do, I might make a website, guys, for you. So uh, I might make the website, add all that good stuff for you guys. But what that means is I'm going to make a website on oh, GT3, GT4, LMP1, LMP2s, and that kind of stuff as well, and GTs as well. So it's going to be a GT series weekend. And that. so we have Daniel in the lead from Shaw, from from Bastion, from Andy, from Elio. So that's what we do if it was qualifying or going practice. So let's get into the race and hopefully. Okay mate, time for the real thing. I'll call the green. Green, green, green. Made the way down now they do. We're green, we're green racing, here we are. As your leader here has a gap already, he does. As the rest of the field look now. So on to the last corner, they did the 12 of them, they are loving this race, they are here. Second now has caught up with the leader a little bit, but not as much as the leader would like, much as much as he would have liked to me. Last has caught up with the bunch of the field here, he has. What have we got here then? What up, and can you make a website for your... Yeah, that's what I was talking about, mate. Uh, the LMP1 and LMP2 fields. Yeah, I was talking about that because pretty much I want to do a thing on that, which uh, I'm in the process of doing, but I've asked uh, somebody who made a website uh, what he would uh, suggest on that, and then I would do it. But uh, yes, it's still Daniel in the lead from Andy, from Bastien. It is here. As yes, we have two more people watching now we do so if you do comment please you will be appreciated as there's a car who has stopped slowed and that's Bastien and Bastien here has slowed uh, quite a considerable way down here he has and it's not looking good here it's not at all here tonight on uh, this channel here it's not but in the lead it's Daniel and my f and Daniel here tonight looks good he does to finish this race in the lead and by the way guys i am daniel's friend so daniel my friend is in the lead wow it's a uh, good gap here he's got a gap of two seconds he has p2 
please do comment and you'll be entered into this please because uh, please do and subscribe if you are new as uh, there is a battle here there is for the lower positions here Marius is looking like he's going to overtake Mitch Mitchell here he does Marius here puts the pressure back on now puts the gas back on now he does but he has really good pressure here from El Emilio Emilio here he does Emilio here looks like he's going to go up the inside here Emilio up the inside goes Emilio will he do it here will Emilio Emilio will he do it there as Bastion here looks like he's going to get up to 7th here. If Bastion does it here, he'll be right behind his teammate here. Bastion looks up the inside. Take the move turn and he now gets behind his teammates. Here he does. That's a great move there from Bastion. Intersect. And that Bastion there surely has done what he says to do. There it is. Put it up there. He has. Bastion's gone really wide though there. He has gone really wide. Comes back on and he looks like he's done it. Yes, he has. Bastion has overtaken Emilo now as well. Into the corner there. And Emilo now looks like he's got pressure from Nigel. Ever so slightly there. Got pressure from Nigel. He has here at Nigel. We'll try and get around here he will now if you are watching please do comment because that means a lot to me it will as Nigel here tries to put his self pressure on here by the way he does and Nigel can't do anything there he can't but Nigel now has uh, two behind him now and then the last place guy is a bit further back here he is all oh, trying to do well here they are tonight please comment if you do are uh, watching because you will get entered into a giveaway and please subscribe as well as uh, yeah, I'll just read the subscribe count in a minute. But yeah, there's a... Bastion here looks like he's going to be inside. Here he does. Oh, clips there he does. As Nigel here. Shrap has got straight through Nigel, he has. And Nigel here wants a bit of piece of piece it back here he does and Nigel looks like he's going to go back up the inside here he does will he do it into the corner no he won't Nigel has decided to back off a lot there he has and we look now at the battle here with Bastian this is great for the leading two of this race they can just pull the massive gaps out here they can second has got a two second 2.8 second gap over second he has and uh, yeah it's going up to about three seconds each lap here it is lovely to see as a uh, bastion here looks like he's going to go on the outside here he did he tried to do it there on marius marius but couldn't do it at all there he couldn't and it's all good to know there it is as he looks to try to do it again there he does it there second now out of our shot of our screen there is second out of our shot now is third and then fourth and fifth who we're looking at now the battle four is hotting up it is here to do a right as fourth looking like trying to get past Mitchell again to try and get for third again with 19 laps to go here fuel good everything good like that it's it's all really not really saying much here as there is the battle still here there is hotting up here in the mid pack here this is the only real battle we've got here and Marius it looks like he could get Bastian right to his tail here any second and Bastian here could look like he can nick up the inside here any second of Bastion ooh around the outside now he's trying to do it around the outside and if you didn't watch yesterday video on the Gavron League it was a bit hectic those four of us commentating and uh, one person had to stop talking the other one had to talk which we had to kind of interrupt each other which was kind of annoying but uh, there was a great overtake at uh, Luna Saker down in the down the uh, the uh, bit of the track. As uh, here comes Bastion now. He's right close to Martius now. He is Bastion is Bastion now could try and do it there, but Bastion's got a lot of momentum there. He has, and Emilo here looks like he's going to go right up inside here. Emilo to take back fifth place here. Emilo, but with his teammate behind him, Bastion looks like he's trying to do it there he does as Emilo's teammate here sorry Emilo's teammate in front of him he is and Emilo and the guy who Emilo wants to fight behind him is Shraff Shraff here looks like he's going to pass up Emilo here no he says no there computer says no he says no as we look at second place here out of our sights 
now go second and it's now drizzling it's now drizzling with rain as it's draft looks like he's trying to go again now he will he's now got Nigel a bit close up to than he likes it to be as Bastian here wants to get past Marius here he does Bastian will he do it here here will he try and do it into this corner here Bastian he will because he breaks a bit later here and ooh computer says no he says no and he slams the door way shut there he does so as they're trying to do it here they are now is anyone else going to pop in to the pits here I don't think anyone will come into the pits this lap around but maybe somebody will come in the next lap and I don't know change some tyres nobody's in just look at this lead here look if I can just show you from on board the car look at that look now there's the last second place coming across the line coming out here the second place has got a gap of four seconds it's creeped down again but yeah you never know it could be Bastian's day here Bastian looks around the outside here he does can't say no there doesn't do anything there he doesn't add uh, these guys uh, it's great to see yes what a race it is there JB JP uh, it is a great race there JP so I'm gonna call you now for now on uh, J Park, I'm going to call JP, J, JP because uh, I can and B and B O'Connor, I'm going to call B.O. Billy O'Connor, I'm just going to call you Billy if that's alright with you as he looks like he's done it there, Bastian has, Bastian has gone past and that was a great move there from Bastion. You've just seen it on the live highlights there. We have as Mario Stairs got Emreal right past him. Here he has. And Shraff here looks like he's going to get past as well. But Mario's here. Looks like he's got the slipstream done there. Looks like he's got done it here. He looks like he's got it done here. He has. Has he got it done? No. The yes, he has. Sorry. Yes, he has. Sorry. And the computer did say yes. And he's got past. And he's done it there. He has. Thank you, if I did the website, thank you, if you would look at it, thank you. Now, uh, there is no real battles on this track except for the lower orders, which I really don't want to talk about because the lower orders are quite shocking in this race and we really don't want to talk about them, but Shaffel, Shaffel looking like he's going to get past Emilio. Let's look at it here, look, he's looking like he's going to do it here onto the straight, on into the corner side, into the corner side, looks like he's going to do it as he, as he, uh, as he, as he, as he, as he, let's have a look. Yeah, he has. There's now Mitchell here has Bastien right up its tail here. Starting down the field, Bastien did. He could, in the first four, seven laps of this race, get up here into the lead of this race. He could, but I think he will. There's second. There's third and fourth. Bastien, Bastien has got Mitchell right to put him here. Let's look at Mitchell from... Mitchell here, Bastien, up the inside goes Bastien here, oh they touch, they touch ladies and gentlemen, they touch, and Bastien does not decide to go up there, he doesn't, there, and Bastien has lost a lot of ground there, he has now, on the place in front of him here, if they are meant to do this race here, the gap up to the car in front is 0 0.6, the gap to the car behind is 0 0.5, so it's pretty much the same, it is here. The leader has got a gap of 6.8 seconds, 6.9, nearly 7 seconds here the gap is. Second's got a gap of 4.5 seconds over the guys behind there he does. He doesn't really want to know here but Bastien looks like he's closed up again and he wants that third place because he started down the order. I don't know, I can't remember where he started but he started down the order if I just quickly have a look actually. Bastien there 
had a disastrous qualifying. He did, you know, sorry, Bastien had a great qualifying. But now has a shocking race. He has as a shocking start to a race I think I could ever see. He started in second, now he's up to four. He wants back up to second. It went down to seven. What happened to him? He went down to seven. Well, anyway, it doesn't really bother me here, it doesn't. Hi, what bad weather? Yeah, it's lovely bad weather, but here he comes now. Bastien into the corner now. Will he go on the outside or will he cut into the inside here, Bastien? Bastien here looks like he wants to try and do something here. Bastien, ooh. As there's a car going a bit wide there, there is. To try and get past Bastien. There is. Marius, to try and get past Bastien here. Arm to Marius we go. To try and see if he can get past Bastien, but Bastien is now pulled a gap out here. So do there's another car. It's Emil, Emil has got back pass. Swaff, Swaff, here he is. And the rain should stop about five laps to go. So they have till five laps to go with the rain. And uh, that could play a big part in this race. It could, or it could go to the end of the race. You never know where these kind of races. Yes, I will do an LMP1, GT3, GT4, and GT and LMP2 race. Yes, I will, but I don't know when. So, if Bastien here looks e quite close still. He does. Uh, don't know if he's got a quick enough pace. Just have a look now. Is he breaking to the braking zone? No, he's not close enough that time. But there is a battle here. Stoffen has got back through. He did. Sorry, not stop. Yeah, Stoffen is, has got back through on Emil. Emiol, Emiol, here he is, and he really, I do think he should try and overtake him, but below me, I don't think he will overtake him, though, as there's David, slowly chugging around, slow as Nigel, slow as Glenn, so is uh, Felix in last position, uh, Mark and then Felix, sorry, Mark and then Felix, I forgot to say Mark and then Felix, but, yeah, as Emiol here wants to do it down the straight, he probably, the only position he can get him is the straight, uh, he's got good straight line speed, he has, uh, is it quicker lap times? No, he's slower lap. He's slower lap times by a bit actually. Stop all it. Uh, no, he is quicker. Sorry, yeah. So Emil is quicker. Here was yeah. Bastien still can just get up there. He does. There's second. Sees the battles behind him coming on. He does, but really nothing happening here with thunder and lightning in the conditions today, I forgot the conditions of Thunder and Lightning today when I looked at the programme at the start, didn't realise, but the leader here has an 8.34, 8.5 second gap, sorry, over the rest of the field, over the rest of the field who are here today, uh, so the second has a 5.1 second gap over third, third has a 0.2 second gap over, sec over fourth, which is Bastien, and Bastien will try now, will he, with all his might to get past, he will, which he has got the slipstream right ahead of him here, slipstream is enabled, DRS isn't though in these cars, and he looks like he's going to hop all straight through there, is he? He looks at the inside here, he does, and Bastien, and Bastien, he's through, Bastien there with a great move, there he does on Mitchell, Mitchell there. I will have a look and see how you make highlights of videos in a bit, so yeah, I will try and make a highlight of this race, because this race is good racing, I'll try and make highlights of this somehow, if I can find how to make highlights of YouTube videos or YouTube streams, I'll have a look at it up here, I will, as uh, Mitchell wants, Mitchell's left him a little bit, there he has, so Stoffel really pressuring now, Stoffel is pressuring Mar Marius, Mar Marius, Marius, He's pressuring Marius a bit too much, a little bit too less, I'd say. Here he is. What's the point of this race, 2016? No. Well, 
you can say if you want 2016 but it's not what I would imagine to have it be a stop all now it's still wet on the track but not as dry it's getting drier now and will they come in for the mandatory pit stop that they might have to do here will they come in for a pit stop this race or will they all stay out for the majority of this race and have no pit stop this race or will they all just race 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 it's up to them to see here. I like it sometimes on my own, but I like it mostly with me and another uh, commentator because then we can chat about stuff, have a laugh and have fun. Have a laugh and have fun. But really, we're on my own. It's a bit boring. Really, it is. But not when the race is good, though. That's the problem we get here with uh, these racing things. My... Uh, Cads. Cadley. Yeah, my, my new league's called the CAD League, and uh, it is basically called CAD World's CAD League, uh, because you, sh you surely should know why, but so my name's CAD World 5, and I'm calling it the CAD League, so yeah. There's another lap ticks over here, it does, of the of the KHM Classics at the Silverstone International Circuit. Today it does, and it's... There's still a few down patches on track to get to around here they are, but the most of the driving racing lines already prob already dried up here it has, as there is pressure. Everyone's now just in like their lines, not really much battling to do, I would have to say myself, there isn't much battling as Shraff may get overtake Marius, Marius this race with a 10 laps to go after this one I have 10 laps to go now there is so pretty much 11 to go because if you have to do the 20 seconds well you do but yeah pretty much so halfway distance now we are sorry halfway distance now we are uh, this lap is sorry I've, the halfway distance flag was out by the way as your leader well he has pulled a gap out he's now crossing the line Now to get a 1 minute 34.839, second crossing the line, now to get a 1 minute 35.514, so they are going quicker laps now, so they might get faster laps of the race, they might, but I don't think they will, here. And it's generally just laps ticking around here they are. The laps are just ticking around now. We've pretty much discovered who our race leader is or who the race winner will be. I don't know if we've discovered who our other positions will be. That has to be... Out in a second, it will, but stuff, 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 It's right up near Marius now, and Marius may have to just get the position taken away. Look, they're getting close enough now, they are just to say the top eight get points, so four don't get points this race. Normally, because this is round. This isn't a round of the season, it's not, so that is why uh, I was curious. Straff. Straff looks like he's going to go on the outside there, but no, he doesn't make it on that corner there. And he now has what, eight laps to go. He will, nine laps to go, sorry, before he will figure out if he can get past the car in front. When he crosses the line, he'll have nine laps to go, he will. So, yeah, lovely to know here. We're into the last ten, lap, ten laps this race. And if you can comment down below your drive for today, I would be appreciated. But Straff looks like he's trying to now get around the outside here into the corner. And he didn't make it there. He didn't. Let's try to this corner. Nothing into that corner. But let's try the next corner here. Nothing. So there's third. So there's fifth. So there's uh, fourth. Third and fourth. There's his fifth and sixth, looking now for Straff stru 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 here. Can Straff get past here? What speed is Straff doing now? Let's have a look. 80 miles an hour, he is now 80 miles an hour, and he looks like Straff. 
he's going somewhere in this race now as they quite slowly go past I'm surprised how slow these cars are really this year yeah it hasn't really said much to be say much that oh he slides but Straff looks like he wants to get back on the inside here Straff goes to the inside of the line will he take the inside line no he does not take the inside line here at the uh, Silverstone International Circuit will he not take the inside line into the last corner or will he decide to just take the last corner good as he can here but these are slow laps because in a proper car you probably get these quicker but well I don't know I'll have to have a look after this race for you I'll go into single player mode and have a look for you but Oh my god, it's looking good for these cars. So after this race, we'll, as we'll go, not look at them, we'll look at them in the next race before the next race we will. But look at them here, they are just flying, here they are. And uh, yeah, this is by the way my friend's YouTube channel. I just do the commentating for him for every race of the year. I do, I have his password and all that. And I do, uh, I'm pretty much the owner of this channel, but he's my friend's channel, so yeah, good to know. As a stoffel here, it's Straff, still looking like he's trying to do this here, as the leader now, has, I think he's going to pull out a bigger gap here, as we look at second here, has got Bastion quite close, he's not close enough to overtake, but I don't know, though, as Straff, 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 looking, Straff looks like he's not close enough that time. But closes up though he does. I know it's a small circuit. Oh, he goes to the outside again. He's trying to do the same again. Look, outside line, cut back into the inside line. Will he cut back in this time? Or will he risk not cutting back in? No, he risks to go on the outside. He tried, but couldn't there. And he now has got one corner to go before he goes on to his seventh to last laps. He will here. And top three have already gone on to them. So it's fourth. And he's not quick enough down the straight so he's quick on the corner section and into corner braking zones but not quick enough on the streets everybody which means nothing really to us but uh, yeah nothing really means nothing so absolutely I can admit to defeat really when uh, risking this race he has done a good race and uh, I say that myself personally Stroth has done a good race. I think he started quite highly up though. I don't even know where he started, but he did. As a uh, last place has not been last all race though, has he? Really, this Stroth. He has to be where he is all race. I don't think he. He's in the last one of the last points, so he's not really got much. But oh, back to the point situation. It's 20 points for the leader, 15 for second, 10 for third, fourth, nine, fourth. Four, five points, and it goes four, three, two, one for the back for the back guys. It does so. Yeah, really, there's not many points. And if you take all four wheels off the track, then you are getting a minus one point for track violations and all that. But nobody, I think, will do track violations or anything like that. Hopefully, they don't. As Stroth hasn't really got close enough that time. If we go look at the field here, we do two Bastien. Who? What a move that was from Bastien. We just missed it. We just caught the end of that actually we did as he made his way around the outs he's got past the bastien has i missed it but bastien will tell me he won't tell me himself but he will know that it was a great move they will as andy will be ashamed that he will not get the lead here but bastien now will push as there is in top of your corner screen just there he was and hopefully get the lead of this race he'll try as uh, here's the battle for six piecing on it is here the battle for six is still creeping on here it is Bastien uh, Marius wants to get past Straff wants to get past Mar Mar Marius but Marius saying no he's not as is it Marius yes it is Straff now looking to try and get past Marius as we have a battle behind we do between David and Nigel Nigel wants, wants a point and uh, David doesn't want any points, I don't think. He wants a point as well, so these two will battle it out for the bit of this race. They were, as we just seen, Nigel's got the quick, uh, David's got the quicker lap, but Nigel's quicker, I would say.
as uh, nobody's trying to overtake there. Stoffel, Schaff, still trying to get Straff, Straff, still trying to get him on the outside. There he is, but can't do it there. And Andy has said, right, fine, you can go, keep go. And he is now 3.9 seconds behind the leader now, is your second place. And just made another faster lap there. The fastest lap of the race goes to second at 1 minute 33.147. Here it is there. So, well, he was just the fastest lap of the race here. And still, fifth and sixth for this little tight of this race. I've been battling here, which is, to me, not bad whatsoever. Really, it's been a okay battle for them as he looks up the inside now goes Shraff 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 looks like he's trying to go on the other side now he's got the pressure into the corner Shraff looks up the inside oh he hits that you heard that Mike you heard that and then he does a slow down there he does he had a slow down penalty there he did and he now picks back up the speed now and goes away now he does if you hit the guy in front you have a slowdown of uh, two of uh, five seconds and then you pick up the speed again uh, all these drivers should know that and uh, yes he is doing pretty good there he is at this race I'll, I will ask where which what should I do and then I'll, I'll ask him if he actually said anything I will uh, not link it but just uh, maybe tell you what he said in the next previous videos coming up but it's just not what Straff wanted it's not, and nobody else really wanted rain, but the rain's come again. Come yet, five fourth. Is he leader? Well, he's got a gap here. Oh, now he has, and it's come down to 2.2 seconds. I think it's because it's raining, but I don't know if it is because of this. But we're just going to sit back and relax for the next lap and just watch the battle between Stoff and Marius. And I'll be back in a second. Just literally five seconds I will be back if he gets past you guys will see it if he doesn't then I will see it when I get back if he does get past so I'll see you in a minute Stoffel, still not past, he's not, but it, but fifth, really don't care, he's now got Mitchell right in front of him here, and that's all Marius wants to get past Mitchell, but that could leave in the hands of Shraff, Shraff it could, Shraff could go, right, I want to get past, and get past both of them he could, and clean up the business, but uh, I don't know if they will though, they pretty much, if you look on board, only just have enough vision for the corner, and then they have no vision in front of them, for the last remaining couple of laps here they don't really and it's a shame really that they don't have much uh, to do left they don't in this race your leader now really has a big gap now he does he's pulled the gap out to 12 seconds and I don't really know why is it because Bastien thinks right I'm second I can get the I can get the 15 points I like 15 points that's far by money probably is but I don't know actually there's a four-way battle still to go here with three laps to go but I think it'll be foggy so we probably won't be able to see all the battling here you'll probably just be able to see the outline of the cars I will say the thing is here that battling in the fog is a bit annoying but anyway so yeah this will probably be it for your racing today it will pretty much be your order of the racing so your order of the racing will be if it's stated it is if anyone doesn't leave or anyone doesn't crash out Daniel in the lead of this race, so Daniel will win the race from Bastien, Bastien, from Andy, from Mitchell, Marius, and then Straff, from Emil, from David are your points so far. Nigel in 
9th and 10th would be Glenn, 11th would be Mark, and 12th would be Felix. That's your order as we speak. I think that'll be as your order as we finish, but we do have still two laps to go for the guys who are in fourth, fifth, and sixth, just making their way down now to start the two laps to go. And yeah, I love race. I love doing commentary for racing. If you do have any commentaries that you want me to do, please tweet me. I will, I will get your tweets. I will tweet you. Uh, yeah, just tell me, and, and then I will. Because they, if they say, "Oh, we use this website," then I will use the website thing they use to help make the website. So I'll use them as Stroff. Stroffel here looks like he wants to go inside. Stroffel up the inside. Has he done it there? Stroffel? No, he has not. Wow. Stroffel has tried again. Here he has. And not played off again, but it is foggy though. To Stroffel, I guarantee we'll only see. Yay! Yeah, look at this. That's what Stroffel sees. Straff, sorry, Straffel. Straff, Straff. This is all Straff sees. Is a car in front of him, and spray, and him, and a fog in front of that. So not really much, really. If you want to go and look and see what's happening at Silverstone, go to www.silverstone.com to see what happens at Silverstone. www.cadwellpark.com to see what gets at Cadwell Park. And all you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, he's nowhere near now. As the leader of this race, entering the last lap now he is. Down across the line he comes. Starting your last lap off now. And so, due respects. Second. Across the line now he is. The the what the yellow and black flag waves there it do, just is waved to say it's time it was holding out it is from a really wet marshal today it is at the marshal posts then we have the fourth fifth and sixth battle which still could go on to the end of the race i really think it could then we have seventh on his own eighth with a little gap to ninth tenth all by himself eleventh all by himself and twelfth all by himself And it's been a race from second to none. Qualifying, one minute, one minute thirty, one minute thirty-three point three eight eight four. Uh, quickest lap in qualifying, quickest lap in practice, and quickest lap of uh, not quickest lap of the race though, but first in practice, first in qualifying, first now, first in warm-up, first in qualifying, and first now means really he's won. He's done well today. He has. As the last couple now make their way down past corner number one now from the last two. As I still have a battle for six. He's going to really go on here as uh, Stroffel has got past Mar Marius. Marius. Marius here. Wants to get back past through Stroffel and he looks like he's going to try and do it here. He does. Back past through Stroffel. Stroffel. Stroffel says no. Stroffel says yes. Stroffel says yes, go back through please, go back through please, I don't really want to get messy in this rain. He does, but your leader has finished the race. Second Bastion crossing the line to finish. Third will be Andy, fourth will be Mitchell, fifth will be Stroffel. With a great move it was, I couldn't see the move really. Marius will be in sixth for you guys to finish, he will. Checkers frantically being waved. There it is. The team stick their hands out. They do. There we go. Seventh will be Emil. Eighth will be David. Ninth will be Nigel. Tenth will be Glenn. Eleventh will be Mark. And twelfth will be Felix for you guys. To see. So yeah, that's all your race order for you guys. Uh, I will. Uh, my controller is about to be dis. Is looking like it's going to be disconnected any second. So yeah. Hopefully you enjoy, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. I'll quickly just whistle for your order. So then, as the race has finished, we'll look at the order. It was Dan, first Dan. Second Bastion, third Andy, fourth Mitchell, fifth Straff, Straff, sixth Marius, eighth seventh Emil, eighth David, ninth Nigel, and tenth Glenn, who were your top ten. Eleventh was Mark, and twelfth was Felix. So, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. Like as well, and I will see you in the next stream. Goodbye. And maybe by the next stream there will be a new 
update and about the website it might be up tell you what to go on and you'll see it so yeah hopefully you enjoy it and i'll see you next